Welcome to Wild Breakaway with Wes Walls. I'm Audra Martin. We had a feeling things would get a little chippy between the Flames and the Wilds here this afternoon in St. Paul, and that was exactly the case. It didn't take long to see the tempers flare here. Unfortunately, what this one lacked in offense, it made up for with those extracurricular activities, but the Wild could have used a couple more goals to come up short 2-1. to one. Yeah, the uh, the folks in St. Paul here tonight saw an outstanding game. The people at home on TV, I mean, that was a big boy game. 2-1, yeah. uh, the game could have went either way. Uh, a scoring chance here or there, one big save here or there, uh, and the Calgary Flames obviously got the big goal halfway through the third period, but this game tonight had a little bit of everything. Fighting, hits, great saves, good scoring chances. Um, a, a lot of activity in this game here tonight. And uh, you got to give, I know the Calgary Flames have scored a ton of goals here over the last two weeks, uh, but you got to give them credit. They came in here, especially after they scored to make it 2-1 halfway through the third period. They really buckled down and, and played very, very solid defensively. Well, here's a look at today's final stats. Wild coming up short despite out shooting the Flames 35-26. to They go 0 for 4 on the man advantage tonight, but they had a huge penalty kill there in the second period, killing off that 5-on-3. But unfortunately, momentum not enough to get the job done here today. And the Wild playing without Miko Koivu still. Jason Zucker sick and unfortunately they lose Matt Dumba in the after the first period. So without a couple key players still a good effort from Minnesota. You know but I thought we played pretty well. I mean it was a good hockey game. I mean it's uh, it was just who was going to get the better opportunity in the third period and once they did they they played pretty well defensively. Riddick made a great save on Coyle and uh, you know, which is when in games like that, you're probably not going to get an awful lot of chances each way, and that's what happens. So now the Wild will wrap up this homestand as they welcome the San Jose Sharks, and of course, a familiar face, the man behind the beard, Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch. Yeah, I'll let you call him that. I won't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday night, it's the San Jose Sharks that will come to town, and uh, the Sharks sitting in second place. So we see the top team in the division here tonight. We'll take on team number two on Tuesday, and you know that's another good competition, good matchup for the Minnesota Wild. Hopefully, this one. You know, the downside, the injuries and things like that won't carry over yeah. much. I can call Burnsy Sasquatch. Yeah. I know I'm good. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I mean, the San Jose's are playing great uh, hockey right now. They've won five of their last six games. Uh, the Carlson came in from, a, a, you know, in a big trade this summer, a blockbuster trade, shook up the whole hockey world. Um, him and Brent Burns have seen, a, kind of uh, got it going here over the last little while. Um, San Jose plays in St. Louis Monday night. So the Minnesota Wild catch a bit of a break. They're going to catch a team, the San Jose Sharks, in the back end of back-to-backs. And, and really, I mean, obviously they're all big games, but this is a really, really important game here at home uh, against the San Jose Sharks. They have a chance to go 3-1 and one on this homestand as opposed to going 2-2 two and two if they happen to lose against the San Jose Sharks. The Wild, after the game against San Jose, go out and play 7 of 9 on the road. So really Tuesday night is going to be a very, very important game for the Minnesota Wild. And it will be an interesting game to see who returns to the lineup, hopefully, yeah. if, any, if we're missing guys from the lineup. A lot to figure out here before the Sharks come to town on Tuesday. We look forward to seeing you for that game. Until then, for West Walls, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.